My name is Kumbi. I use she, they pronouns, and I'm a theater, filmmaker, actor, writer, producer, intimacy coordinator. <laughs> and this is Eleanor. <laughs> oh, and her artistic medium is um, performer. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> You're doing a lot of different things. And we kind of talked a little bit beforehand about like how it's important if you want to survive in the creative spaces, sometimes you like naturally have to be multidisciplinary in that way. So you like you started out as a youth performer or, and it was that something you thought I'm going to be an actor and then all of a sudden you're like, well, actually, I could do these other things as well. Well, actually, I wanted to be a dancer first. Oh. Um, it was going to be dance and then like grade five Halifax Grammar School. I did my drama club and I was like, oh, I can tell stories with words. <laughs> that ah. blows my mind. And so then it became, yeah, acting. Is there a particular uh, piece of art that you're very proud of? The biggest accomplishment is probably the feature film that I did last year. It was my first sort of real official funded feature film. Um, it was called Bystanders. Uh, and that was sort of a massive undertaking. It really took me outside of my comfort zone. My partner and I wrote it together and then I directed it. I showed up in the way that I wanted to show up and so I feel good about that. What is this the force behind your artistic work and like what is it that keeps you going? In terms of the like force behind it, I think I just really believe in the power of story. Yeah. And so being part of a story in any way, whether it's writing it, directing it, acting in it, intimacy coordinating someone else's story, that feels really meaningful to me and mm -hmm. so that that feels like it gives me purpose. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you are the first intimacy coordinator? I, I'm one of the first. One of the I first. Yeah, so I'm part of an organization called Intimacy Coordinators Canada. Okay. And so there there's two of us who are in that organization um, based in Nova Scotia right now. And I think that's maybe part of what I love about it is that um, I feel like I get to be part of that creative process without it being my vision specifically. It's all about getting into the director's head and seeing what they want to do with it and then how I can sort of serve that process, which I love because I think one of my favorite things about filmmaking is that it's a team sport. And so anytime I can be any part of that team feels really good. I'm a big like people first person so for me it's the like very very first step is surrounding myself with the right people yeah. um, I think that like team building step is maybe the most important of the whole process so I don't know if that's necessarily a routine but I definitely want to you know cross my T's and dot my I's in terms of who I'm collaborating with um, I want the vibe to be right because yeah. uh, I think that affects the entire piece. How does living and creating in Nova Scotia impact your work? I went to Montreal for a year. I, I did Toronto for a couple years and I just kept coming back and, and now I feel quite settled here. Uh, but I would like to work other places as well. So I might have a better answer for you when I've worked <laughs> other places. But at the moment, I mean, that, that core ingredient that we talked about of like choosing your team, that works for me because I live here. And the, the family and base and community that we have here um, is so accessible and you you know people and people know each other and there's a history here with the, the community and the, the industry and so I feel like that assists in everything that we do. Um, yeah, it's it's there's something about being on a set and your you know your boom dies and you're like going through your contacts and texting people and a friend was on vacation just down the road and someone drove down and he just like opened his trunk and had all of the equipment and then we you know like that kind of thing maybe it happens other places but to me that's something really special about shooting in Nova Scotia. Love it, love it, and it's pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> yes, uh, and so like, what is winning this award means to you like you like we were talking about like you're <laughs> you know emerging but also you you're your boss I mean, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, thank you anytime uh, i've been recognized by my peers it feels really special yeah. because i've been on juries and i know how hard it is <laughs> to decide and so i feel very honored and and lucky yeah.